Good morning, Bitcoin. Today is Sunday, February 14th, 2021. My name is Thomas Hunt, and here's what's happening today in Bitcoin. Bitcoin soars nearing $50,000 for the first time. Doge is underestimated. Elon Musk's favorite Bitcoin rival Dogecoin is getting a surprise upgrade. But first, the price of Bitcoin is up 3.94% in the last 24 hours, with a last of 48898 a high of 49,659, an all-time high, and a low of 46,628. That's $1 for 2,045 Satoshis. Volume was at 7,193 Bitcoins changing hands. The market continues to lean long, with 94% of the market heading that direction. Bitcoin dominance was at 59%. Bitcoin soars nearing $50,000 a coin for the first time. CNN Business. Bitcoin is this close to $50,000, continuing a stunning rise that it sent it soaring nearly $20,000 this year. The digital currency hit a record $49,714.66 Sunday before pulling back somewhat. Bitcoin is still up about 4% over the last 24 hours. Investors have sent the price of Bitcoin skyrocketing during the pandemic as the Federal Reserve cut interest rates to near zero in March 2020 and expects to keep them there for several more years severely weakening the U.S. dollar. There is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. That makes Bitcoin comparatively an attractive currency. There's a set limit to the number of Bitcoins on the planet, and investors believe that once the supply runs out, the digital coin's value can only increase. As Bitcoin surges to all-time highs, big name-brand investors are stockpiling it and huge consumer companies are embracing it, aiding in Bitcoin's soaring valuation. Last week, Tesla said it may soon accept the digital currency as payment for its cars, and Tesla, the most valuable car company on the stock market, said it is holding some of its cash in Bitcoin rather than traditional currency. On Wednesday, MasterCard announced that it will support select cryptocurrencies directly on its network at some point later this year. That represented of a major milestone for Bitcoin. Square and PayPal recently began allowing customers to trade Bitcoin, but MasterCard will be Bitcoin's most mainstream major platform yet. That's adding a dose of validity and appeal to cryptocurrency for mainstream investors. For example, a talk, top executive at BlackRock said last year that Bitcoin could one day replace gold. <laughs> and Jay-Z and Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey announced Friday that the pair are establishing a Bitcoin development fund. Bitcoin passed $20,000 for the first time in December, and it has more than doubled in value in the last three months. Appetite. For risk. Still, the recent cryptocurrency surge is showing signs of a melt up. Over enthusiasm fueled by the fear of missing out, not to mention market fundamentals. Take Elon Musk's sarcastic tweets about Bitcoin rival Dogecoin in recent months. The digital coin, which itself was constructed as a cryptocurrency parody, shot up 50% earlier this month after Musk tweeted only to crash over the past week. Anthony Scaramucci, <laughs> Skybridge Capital's founder, has a big stake in Bitcoin and a fund geared towards wealthy investors, the Skybridge Bitcoin Fund LP. 
But even he says people need to watch out. He told CNN Business last month that it could be a solid addition to the average investor's portfolio, but you've got to have the stomach for it. After all, Bitcoin prices crashed to below $4,000 after reaching a previous peak of just under $20,000 in December 2017. This could be a blow-up top bubble. Blow-off top bubble. Scaramucci told CNN Business in January, we expect the fund to be volatile, and it could lose money. Scaramucci said Bitcoin could suddenly tumble 20 to 50%, but he also highlighted Bitcoin's staying power in the course of the past decade. If you took $1 and put 99 cents of it in cash and a penny of it in Bitcoin, that investment strategy would have outperformed $1 invested in the S&P 500 over the past 10 years he noted. The more likely trajectory is that people can make a monumental amount of money. Bitcoin is unfettered by Federal Reserve policy or gold supply issues, he said. There is more demand for Bitcoin now than supply. The price should go up. Doge is underestimated. Elon Musk's favorite Bitcoin rival Dogecoin is getting a surprise upgrade. Dogecoin, the meme-based cryptocurrency that has been called a joke by its creator, has exploded in popularity over recent weeks. The Dogecoin price has climbed thanks to attention from billionaires, rock stars, and YouTubers, with Tesla's C CEO Elon Musk, who once voted Dogecoin CEO, and named it his fave cryptocurrency, tweeting this week, Dogecoin is underestimated. Now, with the doggy coin price up a blistering 600% since January, developers who had long ago abandoned the meme coin are back and planning to update the aging software. When it took off, there was a resurgence in attention, and we want to keep the cryptocurrency operational. Dogecoin lead maintainer Ross Nickel told Bitcoin and cryptocurrency news outlet Coindesk. Created in 2013, Dogecoin saw its last major upgrade in June 2019, and now Nickel, along with four other developers, want to roll out another major release to address Dogecoin's scalability <laughs> and security issues within a year. We'll always prioritize security. I'm not going to say that development won't slow down again, but we will always be there looking for security issues to make sure the software is kept up to date, Nickel said. Doors, Dogecoin soared at the end of January when retail traders organized via Reddit's Wall Street bets and Telegram chat groups, frustrated by GameStop trading restrictions, piled in to cryptocurrencies. The Dogecoin price has fallen from its peak of just over eight cents, but remains many times where it began 2021. However, internet savvy entertainers have continued to talk up the tongue in cheek Bitcoin rival, hoping to push it yet higher. Doge is Bitcoin's younger brother. They have the same potential. It's still early, YouTuber Jake Paul said via Twitter. Neil Armstrong landed on the moon first, and now Doge is next. I'm holding, Paul added, retweeting fellow YouTuber Ben Phillips, who's been trying to pump up the Dogecoin price in recent weeks, predicting it will go to $2 within the next few months. Meanwhile, the Bitcoin price has continued to climb, hitting an all-time high of over $49,000 per Bitcoin this weekend as Wall Street finally moves to embrace cryptocurrencies and Elon Musk's Tesla revealed it has purchased $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. The surge in the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, including Dogecoin, which was also fueled by an endorsement by Musk on Twitter, comes as digital currencies become mainstream due to soaring interest both from retail and institutional investors 
increasing levels of mass adoption and as global interest rates remain at historic lows. Nigel Green, the chief executive of financial advisory group Devere, said in emailed comments. As Harry Sudak said on Twitter, this is the food pyramid all over again. Energy consumption is not a bad thing. Bitcoin mining utilizes renewables better than current industries already. Mining bootstraps additionality without the need for government incentives. After Bloomberg tweeted again, if Bitcoin were a country, its annualized estimated carbon footprint would be comparable to New Zealand at about 30 million tons of carbon dioxide. <laughs> Used to mine Bitcoin was renewable energy, then it wouldn't cost anything in pollution. Nassim Tlaib states that Bitcoin is not meant to be volatile at higher prices, but at a 0.25% share of total major assets, Bitcoin is nowhere near the high price and market saturation point that would indicate an end to major volatility. We are still at early days. Volatility is 100% normal. Renegade Investor UK wrote, after Nicholas Nassim Tlaib wrote, Bitcoin misfits share the same monocellular brain and logical wiring defects. Bitcoin is a good idea. Therefore, it will be the reserve currency, i.e. no other ideas and no other reserves. He says reserves are not volatile and says that Bitcoin is not supposed to be volatile at higher prices and that it never found uses. Yet, you can buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. There's an amazing uh, animation from a shopping center in uh, China somewhere. The bull is breaking out of the cage, the year of the bull. And then it turns out just to be animation. Eric Kaysen says, every derp out there seems to be under the impression that if they bought Bitcoin eight years ago, they would have held it like iron hands. I don't believe it. Most people panic sell at a 30% gain. Only those not motivated by meager monetary gains can hold at 30x. Mike Rotman wrote back saying, in 2014, we gave away 86 Bitcoins on Take My Bitcoins, the first and still only worldwide live Bitcoin. The crew was also paid in Bitcoin. And he doesn't know a single winner or crew member who held the Bitcoin. Not a one. The Netherlands look like an old Dutch master's painting today. Beautiful photo from Dirk Jansen at NL in SF. Uh, Rick Becker photography, storm chasing and photography. You can see the windmills and uh, a river or a canal and they are ice skating on the canal in the sunrise. Beautiful photograph. Hopefully you can hear me this time. I'm just gonna continue like you can. <laughs> Pretty easy to uh, mute yourself uh, when there's no one else to uh, double check what you're doing. <laughs> but let's try it again. Here's TallyCoin. We're getting very close to winning our fundraiser. We have 75 contributors who have donated, plus the power of Bitcoin number goes up technology. I'm going to go ahead and donate $2 to the fundraiser. Remember, with the Lightning Network, you have to generate an invoice first. Click $2, click Lightning. Don't run any plugins that block everything, and it works very easy. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Here we go. I got the wallet of Satoshi right here. A little bit of lightning left over from buying on lightning LN strike. And boom, it's paid. Just like that. Says it can't connect to the internet. Doesn't even matter. Somehow paid. Done. <laughs> the price of Bitcoin was up. 3.69% in the last 24 hours with a last of 48,699. 
That's $1 for 2,053 Satoshis. The high was an all-time high with 49,659. A low of 46,628. That's 7,147 Bitcoins changing hands. The market continues to lean long, 94% of the market heading that direction. Bitcoin dominance was at 59%. And special for Sunday viewers, we'll be using the Bitcoin predictor ball to predict the price of Bitcoin. Will the price of Bitcoin be higher this time tomorrow? Ask again later. Ask again later. You can ask all you want. You don't always get an answer with a Bitcoin predictor ball. Thanks so much for joining us. Until next time, give us a thumbs up and a share. Subscribe down below. We get about 50 thumbs up on these, but 500 people watch them. So if 500 people gave us thumbs up, maybe 1,000 people would watch them. I don't know. We could run a scientific experiment. All you have to do is give us a thumbs up. It works at any time. It doesn't have to be live. It could be later on. It could be now. It could be now. It could be now. Until next time, bye-bye. There is an incident on track to the federal district. There is an incident on track to the federal district. There is an incident on track. There is an incident on there is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. There is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. There is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve.